President Muhammad Buhari today in Abuja received a delegation from the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Nigeria, ICANN. The delegation was led by its president, Mrs. Comfort Olu Eitayo. The president assured them that his administration would continue to engage experts to gain measurable and reliable results. He noted that professionals in various fields, especially accounting, provide the strength and framework for thriving economies. President Buhari noted that the contribution of the Institute in ensuring poverty, accountability and transparency cannot be overemphasized, urging more diligence and professionalism. The president of ICANN appreciated President Buhari and his administration in adhering to best accounting practices, principles and ethics to secure and revive the economy. For this very important uh, meeting, I know the accountants are not very popular <laughs> in most of our institutions because nobody wants to account for what he is doing. <laughs> Thank you very much. You are an envious uh, institution in the sense that uh, it needs a lot of brains and discipline to qualify, uh, which is not very common. And. Uh, which is the hard work involved in it, is not a very favorable issue with us Nigerians. If we, the less we work and the more we get, the better for us. Um, I thank you very much for coming. I wish you, uh, I will demand a comprehensive uh, a report of your visit so that I can look at it uh, because I very much uh, respect uh, your competence as social stabilizers and uh, uh, for accounting of our resources. This is a well-deserved elevation, given that you have distinguished yourself as the Vice President of ICANN, served as a member of the Governing Council of the Institute since 2007, and chaired several committees of the Institute, which include the Finance and General Purposes Committee, the Technical Research and Public Policy Committee, Professional Examinations Committee, and the Annual Accountants Conference Committee. As a female president in a male-dominated profession, you are an example to our young girls of what can be achieved through hard work and diligence. It is equally noteworthy that the Finance Act is now a regular part of our budget process to make the Appropriation Act realizable. We wish to suggest, however, that a more robust process be put in place to engage professionals across disciplines to determine budget and project implementation and to capture value for money for all government projects. When this is done, our Appropriation Act can achieve its true purpose and essence. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.